हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन ओपन चैनल फ्लो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस शार्प क्रेस्टेड वायर व्हिच इज वन ऑफ द फ्लो मेजरिंग डिवाइसेस इन ओपन चैनल फ्लो ए वायर इज अ स्ट्रक्चर बिल्ट अक्रॉस ए चैनल टू रेज द लेवल ऑफ वाटर विद द वाटर फ्लोइंग ओवर इट इफ द वाटर सरफेस वाइल पासिंग ओवर द वायर separates at the upstream end and the separated surface jumps clear of its thickness the wire is called a sharp crested wire okay uh, look at this figure this is the wire which is provided across a channel and uh, this wire is raising the level of water as we can see here if the water surface when it passes over this wire this water surface separates at the upstream end and this separated surface jumps and clearing of its thickness such phenomena when uh, such phenomena when occurs uh, over the wire then this kind of wire is called sharp crested wire it is also known as notch or a thin plate wire sharp crested wires are extensively used as a fairly precise flow measuring device in laboratories industries and irrigation practice the sharp crested wires used in practice are usually vertical metal plates with an accurately machined upstream edge of thickness not exceeding 2 mm and a bevel of angle greater than 45 degree on the downstream face edge okay here uh, 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 as a sharp crested wire we usually use vertical plate and uh, it has accurately machined upstream edge this is a uh, enlarged view of this portion this is upstream edge and its thickness should not be greater than 2 mm and uh, the bevel we provide in the sharp crested wire this angle should be uh, this angle should be greater than 45 degree the wire come in many geometric shapes but the rectangular and triangular ones are the most commonly used sharp crested wires this figure shows the definition sketch of flow over a sharp crested rectangular wire the water surface of the stream curves rapidly at the upstream of the wire and plunges down in a parabolic trajectory on the downstream this surface is known as upper nap at the wire crest this is called the crest of wire so at the wire crest the flow separates to have a free surface which initially jumps up to a level higher than the wire crest before plunging down this surface is known as lower nap okay this is called upper nap and this is called lower nap if the wire extends to the full width of the channel suppose uh, this is a rectangular wire uh, rectangular channel and we provided wire like this and this is the flow of water over this wire so this is the case of uh, full width wire okay here this wire extends to a full width of the channel but if we provide wire like this and water is flowing in this way then this is not a case of uh, uh, full width wire so if the wire extends to the full width of the channel 
the lower nephe this lower nephe encloses a space having air initially at atmospheric pressure and uh, as the flow proceeds for some time some of the air from this pocket is entrained by the moving water surface and the pressure in the air pocket falls below the atmospheric pressure this in turn causes the nephe surface to be depressed okay after some time this nephe surface will be depressed like this this change is a progressive phenomena a limiting case of the air pocket completely evacuated as a uh, evacuated is a clinging nephe okay uh, this is the limiting case when all the air in this pocket will be uh, entered by the moving water surface and there will be absence of air pocket and uh, the clinging nephe will occur to maintain standardized conditions for flow measurement the air pocket below the lower nephe should be kept at a constant pressure the atmospheric pressure in this pocket is achieved through the provision of air vent by providing air vent below the lower nephe we can maintain the pressure equal to atmospheric pressure in this region one more thing we should know here is that when the tail water level is far below the crest of the wire then this is the case of free flow now let's see the derivation of uh, discharge for sharp crested rectangular wire it is usual to derive the discharge equation for free flow over a sharp crested wire by considering an ideal undeflected jet and to apply a coefficient of contraction to account for the deflection due to the action of gravity for a rectangular wire of uh, length l spanning the full width of a rectangular channel the ideal discharge through an elemental strip of thickness dh at a depth h below the energy line is given by dqi is equal to area into velocity the area of this is the discharge through this elemental strip that we assumed over the wire uh this discharge will be equal to area into velocity though so area of this elemental strip is l multiply by dh this is l dh multiply by velocity velocity through this elemental strip will be uh, root over 2g h okay what is h h is the uh, height of this strip from the energy line to find the total discharge through this wire we need to integrate this equation hence the ideal discharge through the wire will be l root over 2g we have to integrate with respect to h and the lower limit of h will be this one this is v not square upon 2g and the upper limit will be this one okay because this uh, height is ranges from this to this one okay so this is the lower limit and this is the upper limit the difference of this will give you the total height of strip uh, over the wire that is h1 so v not square upon 2g and the upper limit will be v not square upon 2g plus h1 this will be root over h into dh 
so this is the ideal discharge so to find the actual discharge we have to introduce a coefficient that is coefficient of contraction here cc is a coefficient of contraction it is introduced to account for the uh, deflection of nap pay due to the action of gravity hence q is equal to 2 by 3 cc root over 2g l h1 plus v0 square upon 2g whole to the power 3 by 2 minus v0 is v0 square divided by 2g whole to the power 3 by 2 okay after integrating this equation and introducing the coefficient of contraction the equation of discharge will become this one we can write this equation as 2 by 3 cc root over 2g l h1 to the power 3 by 2 1 plus v0 square divided by 2g h1 whole to the power 3 by 2 minus v0 square upon 2g uh, sorry uh, v0 square divided by 2g h1 whole to the power 3 by 2 okay here what we have uh, done uh, we have taken out the h1 to the power 3 by 2 common from both h1 plus v v naught square upon 2g and uh, v naught square upon 2g to the power 3 by 2 however since uh, this equation is rather inconvenient to use the discharge equation is written in terms of h1 and this h1 is the depth of flow upstream of the wire measured above the wire crest okay we are talking about this depth h1 okay this equation is inconvenient to use because this equation involve approach velocity v naught is the approach velocity and we don't know what is the magnitude of this one hence we write this equation in terms of coefficient of discharge and h1 only okay so obviously uh, the value of cd is where cd is cc 1 plus v naught square divided by 2g h1 whole to the power 3 by 2 minus v naught square upon 2g h1 to the power 3 by 2 okay this coefficient of discharge take uh, take into account the velocity of approach v naught okay so in this way we can eliminate the uh, this term velocity of approach by introducing cd so this is the final equation to find the discharge through the sharp crested rectangular wire in ideal flow condition cd is a function of h1 by p which is the wire height factor and uh, its variation in case of ideal fluid flow has been studied by Strelkov okay in real fluid flow cd should in general be a function of Reynolds number and Weber number in addition to the wire height factor that is h1 upon p 
if Reynolds number is sufficiently large and if the head that is H1 is sufficiently high to make the surface tension effects negligible, the coefficient of discharge CD is a function of H1 upon P only for real flow, uh, real fluid flow condition also. Okay. The variation of CD for rectangular sharp crested wire is given by the well-known Rehbock formula that is CD is equal to 0 0.611 plus 0 0.08 H1 divided by P. Okay. Here uh, P is the height of wire here in this figure we can see this is the p which is the height of wire from the channel bed and this formula of cd is valid uh, for h1 by p less than or equal to 5 this table gives the discharge relationships for some commonly used non rectangular thin plate wires or sharp crested wires for triangular channel the discharge equation is q is equal to 8 by 15 cd root over 2g 10 theta h1 to the power 5 by 2 where this is 2 theta cd is a function of theta for 2 theta is equal to 90 degree cd is 0 0.5 feet for circular channel q is equal to cd phi d to the power 2.5 where phi is function of h1 by d and cd is a function of h1 by d d is the diameter of this circular wire for parabolic wire q is 1 by 4 pi cd root over k root over 2g h1 to the power 2 uh, here k we can find by the equation of parabola by considering this as a origin this is x axis this is y axis for trapezoidal channel q is equal to 2 by 3 cd root over 2g h1 to the power 3 by 2 l1 plus 4 by 5 h1 10 theta where this is the l1 bottom width of the wire that is the uh, uh, that is the length of crest of uh, trapezoidal wire and these are the theta which are the side slope so this was all about sharp crested wire we will meet in the next video with the new topic that is broad crested wire thank you